morning, citizens of the internet. Welcome to Tomorrow Daily, the best geek talk show in the universe. I'm Ashley Skeva. And I'm Jeff Kanata. Are you ready for some headlines? Let's do this. DARPA is making a robot space mechanic. That's right. We have a lot of satellites working for us up in orbit, but when they break down, they become space garbage. That's why DARPA says they want to make a robotic servicing vehicle that would hang around in geosynchronous orbit until a satellite requires service. Then it would match orbit with the broken satellite, get information for a service plan, and complete the repair. DARPA hopes to have something like their concept in orbit within five or so years. Five? That's so short. Yeah, I, I think we need to get uh, these. Uh, once those robots arrive, they're going to see so much garbage, they're going to be like, we need overtime. Yeah. We need overtime pay. Demand a robot union, and then yeah. there's a robot overtime. I hope that maybe they can fix all of our space garbage. That'd be rad. That would be pretty cool. Or then when they break down, then you need a robot then to who service fix the robot. See, yeah, that just becomes a conundrum. <laughs> I get you. Um, all right, guys, we got to talk about, well, for the ladies, the story is for you. This is a 3D printed pedal dress that you can get customized for your body. We've actually checked out Nervous System's 3D printed fashions before on the show, and now it's making its 3D printed pedals dress available for purchase. You can even upload a body scan to customize the dress's pattern specifically for you, and use sliders on the design company's website to change measurements and the style and shape of your dress. Since it's custom printed, though, you should be prepared to spend a lot of money on this personalized pedals gown. They start at a whopping $6,000 and go all the way up to $10,000, which I guess is the starting price for an Apple Watch edition, so it's all relative fashion. Yeah. These things are gorgeous, though. And seeing them in, really in cool. motion, with the way they're, they ripple in the breeze, it's yeah. pretty cool. And depending on your measurements and everything, the actual physical design of the 3D print changes to make it look as best as possible on your specific body. Yeah. So I mean, I think if you've got that kind of cash. Why not? So which of these stories should we talk about on Thursday? Well, I mean, they both have so much potential. Yeah. Um, I kind of like the idea of talking about 3D printed fashion, but what about you? What do you... I, I, I chose yesterday. I, I thought you might be into that. I think that's cool. I like this idea of, of uh, space robots, but uh, as anybody would. But I, the idea of 3D printing our clothes specific to our specifications is fascinating and I think warrants a deeper discussion. Let's do some research. And you guys can get in on the conversation by using the hashtag HeyTD. Yeah, just shout at us using that hashtag on the Twitters. Uh, we love hearing your comments, and we'll incorporate them into our discussion on Thursday. And that's it for our headlines, which means it's time for our phone talker for the day. Our phone talker for the day today is Donald, who shot this magnificent photo on his iPhone 6S. Donald says, this shot was taken on my iPhone 6S on the Caribbean island of St. Martin? St. Martin? St. Martin. I don't know, sure. uh, while sipping a glass of <laughs> wine at a very upscale resort. It proves no matter who or where you are, anyone can enjoy a sunset. Or everyone enjoys a sunset. I have full permission from the subject to use the photo. I give you full permission to use it on Tomorrow Daily. Thanks for a great and fun show to watch. Donald, that picture is glorious. The only way it would have been better is if Donald was in the shot holding his glass of wine in front of that sunset. Yeah, it's it's a he's right. Anybody can enjoy a sunset. and. Uh, those small, kind of quiet moments are, are lovely. It's true. Uh, we got some suggestions on themes, by the way. I saw. There's Everybody's excited about themes. Yeah, people really like the themes idea. And so I think uh, starting next Monday, we'll go with, we'll do themes. All right. You so, asked for it. You demanded it. You, themes. You have so themes. many good ideas. So, um, yeah, there will be themes now going forward every month. We'll change the theme. All right. It'll be really good. fun. Uh, all right, guys, that's it for the show today. If you want to send in your photography, tomorrow at CNET.com. Yeah, we love uh, we love getting those pictures from you. But make sure you tell us what device you took it on and give us permission to use it. We love the stories. We love your stories about why you took that photo. So don't forget to explain that. Yes, and if you love hanging out on social media, so do we. Weird. What a coincidence. You can so find many us, ways. You can find us online. We'll be back tomorrow with a brand new docket of Science Fact, meeting science fiction. But until then... Be good humans. See you guys next time. Bye. Oh. 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 Oh.